Hey guys, I am so excited to share with you another duck hole build video here on our farm. A year ago, me and my dad built a wood duck hole right behind me in that timber section, and we had some uh, things that came up that we couldn't control. So we've taken the past year to really reevaluate our whole situation and make our father and son duck hole build bigger and better for 2023. I'll go ahead and tell you we're not completely done with this build, but we got the majority of the work done, and you can tell that it is a huge transformation. So enjoy this small clip showing you from last year's build into what it is today, and I'll catch you guys right after. All right, so I'm standing at the old location where our culvert and our water gate was. Uh, this wooded section usually stays wet during the winter months. So last year, me and my dad decided, well, why not come in here, take out a bunch of trees that weren't beneficial for a duck hole, uh, get some clay out of the creek and build a dam around it and control the water with that riser. Uh, so we came in with the excavator and the skid steer, cleared everything out, lasered it out. We had good elevation change from the back to the front. Uh, we had everything exactly how we wanted it. We even planted some Japanese millet. Uh, we went over that dam over and over with our excavator, our skid steer, and even a D2 bulldozer that we were using on a deer field. Uh, so we thought we were good to go for the 2022 duck season. Uh, well, literally a week after that dam got to sit up, we got a monsoon and it destroyed a section of our berm. Uh, we were actually able to come back in the next day. It wasn't too wet and we fixed it. Uh, well, then another week went by and then we got another monsoon. And from this video I'm showing you guys now, uh, it completely destroyed it. And at that point it was too wet to get back in, in here and do anything. So we had to completely scratch the father and son duck hole build from 2022. And I mentioned that in part four of last year's video, but I also mentioned some new things we were gonna do for 2023. So let's walk you through what we did to make this thing bigger and better. So to account for all the water that was coming through that old hole, we decided to incorporate this south field, making this thing two times as big as it was last year. Uh, the second thing that it would help us on by incorporating the south field is the new dam would become the, the uh, road that goes to one of our shoot houses. You can see the defender sitting on it now and how high it is. Uh, trying to get that defender through here during the winter months beforehand uh, was absolutely terrible. I'd walk to the deer stand and I'd be covered in mud just by the time I got there. Uh, so that's the second reason. And then the third reason uh, we wanted to expand it is for the diversity of food and the abundancy of food. Now this gives us the opportunity to plant either corn, soybeans, or rice, or anything out in this open field, and then we can plant our millet inside the hole or vice versa. Uh, so definitely more food for ducks. Hopefully we'll attract more ducks. So the first thing uh, that we did it was early June. We came in and we bush hogged this field. We needed to have a smooth surface for it. Uh, after we bush hauled, we dissed it, we tilled it, and we culti packed it. Later on in June, we came back and used the excavator to take out the old dam. We wanted to get some accurate measurements before we did any type of moving on the dirt. Now, let's get in in July, because this is the month that we wanted to start the whole build process and start moving dirt. Well, we literally had rain every single day in July, as, as if we couldn't catch a break on some daggone rain in this duck hole. Uh, then fast forward to August, that's the time we're supposed to plant. It took that whole month uh, for everything to dry up during those uh, rainy days. Uh, so moving into September, we were finally able to start the process. Uh, that did give us two months though to evaluate the measurements that we took and then also plan out some cool ideas on how we were gonna make this thing uh, easier for us. So we picked up some cool tools. Uh, the first thing that we picked up was a Kubota brand DZ3096. 
Uh, if you're interested in the part number, it's a bulldozer blade that attaches to our Kubota 95 uh, SVL skid steer. Uh, it has the ability to tilt left and right and go up and down so you can manipulate this dirt however you wanted it to. Uh, the second thing we came up with was getting a piece of steel square tubing and then some high powered magnets from Amazon, welding that all together and uh, magnetically putting it on the bulldozer blade to hold our laser receiver. So as we're grading the inside of this new hole, we can know exactly uh, the level we needed to be on that slope. Uh, speaking about slopes, we have a Topcon laser and it has a slope setting in it. So we came back in September right before we started uh, to push dirt and we set up the laser to see uh, the slope we needed. So we're, we're trying to get roughly a zero to eight inch downward slope from the north side to the south side. Uh, and that blade and that, and that receiver definitely made it easy. So now it's time to start pushing dirt. We have an idea of how much we need to move. Uh, so I began getting that top layer of topsoil off and pushing it in a straight line along where the new dam would be. Uh, once I got into that hard clay, it, it took a slower and slower process. We had uh, to disc before every time we pushed. The um, skid steer isn't a bulldozer. It doesn't have enough traction or power behind it. Uh, so we would constantly have to break this thing up just to push that hard clay. Uh, we may have could have gotten dirt from somewhere else, but we had nowhere else on the property uh, with as good clay and enough of it to build it up. So that's why I go ahead and grade this off, count for all the water, and also build that road up. Uh, so I got down to that hard, good clay, pushed it up along the organic matter field, bad dirt, and then Dad came behind me with the excavator, went backwards on the new road, and picked up the good stuff and just started layering it up, going backwards and backwards until we had it at the height that was roughly uh, the final result. Uh, so as I mentioned, we're not completely done, uh, but this is the point we're at. We're gonna come back and we're gonna put the culvert in with the water gate. And, and for this year, we're not gonna let that be the only out route for water. We bought a concrete mat and I'll throw in a, a picture here so you guys can see it. Uh, if we have any overflow in water, we'll put in a low spillway along the dam on the southeast corner next to the water risers and we'll throw in a concrete mat. That way we can still drive across that dam. Uh, so that's definitely gonna help us out and not cause the problem that we did last year. We're pausing on the build uh, for right now because we're already too late to plant, so we're in no rush. We actually moved our equipment over to uh, the south part of our property. We have a huge creek that's dried up and we're taking this time to build a bridge across of it to get to areas we've never been able to reach before. Uh, if you missed the series called The Road to Nowhere, we actually built a road through our property and this connects uh, one side of the property to the other and that bridge is gonna be the piece that's missing. So that's pretty cool. We'll have a video on that bridge building soon. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Hope you found this interesting. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss us doing the final touches out here on our father and son duck hole build. And we look forward to having some duck hole uh, hunts next year on the farm in 2024. Uh, please leave some comments down below if you have any suggestions uh, or anything, any type of advice. I thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys later.